Hi there, and thank you for clicking on my video. Uh, this video is a request by Crazy Dave One. Uh, literally the oldest weapon I'm probably ever going to do a build video for. And I threw some forma in it to get it to work. But he wanted to see how the acrid would work with uh, modern modding. And primed mods, and good lord does it need some prime mods to be viable. So I need to sort of add some context to this weapon. This is an insanely old gun. Okay, so don't expect, holy shit, that's amazing damage. I'm pretty sure when this came out, this weapon predated toxin damage. So when you used to shoot it, it dealt true damage, if I'm not mistaken. But it pre this weapon predated toxin damage in terms of what we know of it today. So it doesn't deal toxin damage per se, but nowadays it does. I'm pretty sure it used to deal true damage. But this thing is so old. Like, look at the reload. You literally just pull it out, put it back in, and that counted as a reload because uh, animation budget was back back then really tight, right? That's a reload. Um, so we're going to start with our core mods, and we're going to build up from there. Uh, the philosophy behind this is pretty simple. Um, prime pistol ammo mutation. Obviously, the ammo pickup is a fucking monster. Um, but just to keep ammo up in case you're miss you want it, right? Um, you can swap it out for anything else that you want. Um, lethal momentum uh, would have been a good one because that's what the initial polarity was. But I find the the little projectiles move fast enough. Um, but to be honest, with the 60 ammo pickup, you don't even need pistol ammo mutation. And on a semi-fire, you're going to break your damn mouse actually needing that much ammo pickup. And to be honest, like, maybe if you had an auto clicker and, like, went triple fire rate mods. Um, but we got the, new, the Arcane, Secondary Merciless, um, Galvanized Shot, because it'll apply to the main hit. Um, and it'll boost the damage of everything else since we're not dealing with an AoE. Galvanized Diffusion for multi-shot. I did go crit chance only on this because the crit chance is so low. What I was looking for, um, because this, this ammo or this weapon has, uh, base damage issues, is on headshots, when you get a critical hit on a headshot, you gain a 3x multiplier to damage because it's a headshot, right? But you also, if it's a critical hit, then gain an additional 2x multiplier to all of your damage. So this is just throwing in a little bit of RNG. Um, you'll notice the damage jump up and down, but you'll definitely notice when I hit a critical hit that's a headshot. Because it'll be like six times more than what I'm normally hitting. So just adding that in, it helps the dots out. Um, because the fire rate isn't too bad, it's five. And the fact that I have to click every time to get it to fire, didn't really want to go lethal torrent, definitely can't go, uh, like anemic, right? Cause you're having to fire it. Um, so I just sort of skipped it and I went faction personal preference. If you don't have the faction mod or you just want a general build, Lethal Torrent's the way to go. You're going to have to click to make it up. Um, so we're going to be going against Grenier for this first test. So we're going to do Corrosive and Heat. And because we have an innate Toxin Dot, we don't have to worry about waiting for that. Obviously, that's going to make him a little weaker. Oh, we already got him up. So let's see how it does.
All right, two clips. Yeah, that 10K is a critical hit on the head. So like if I shoot here, you're seeing 4K, 1K, 2.4. And I think that was a 41K on the head. So honestly, for such an old weapon, that's not too terrible. I've already used this in Steel Path. And besides the fact that it's single target, like st it, literally the functioning of the gun, the fact that it's single target, um, that most of the time you're getting mobbed with enemies, it's kill time on a single enemy honestly isn't too bad. For as old as this weapon is, you just got to give it props for how old it is. The fact that it's not crit based, and frankly, it's kind of not status chance based either. Um... It's doing okay. Obviously, it's received favorable boosts from the new mods. All right, so that was Lethal Torrent. Let's see how it does with the uh, the faction. For personal preference, uh, I can understand not having the faction mod. Uh, you should probably have the crit chance mod if you've been playing for a while. All right, I'm seeing... 825 toxin dots. Uh, the heat dot is still climbing. I'll try to pick that out. 1,000. Obviously, the arcanes are stacking. All right. Faction dot helped out. We got a 25k headshot. Obviously, once we had more stacks up, uh, 6,400 toxin dots. Not the worst. Um... So let's see, since this is its absolutely worst matchup, let's swap over to Corpus. Where, obviously, it's a little more in line with uh, what the weapon's good at. And we'll swap to Magnetic Toxin, or even Weighted Toxin. 30% status with a guaranteed Toxin Dot, but now because we have modded, it'll boost it. Let's find some corpus. We'll do a little more of these. Oh, hold on. I'm gonna need trash mobs to boost the weapon. It's not gonna deal with those very well. Yeah, because of how weak the weapon is. Um, don't try to shoot an Eximus first. Let me get some trash mobs in there and then we'll... I'll do like five of those. And then we'll find some trash mobs. Say five of these. Do five of these. And I guess a Juno attack works. So five, five, and five. So easy enough. There's a Guardian Eximus that's helping these guys out. All right, now we got an Osprey with some armor. All right, we're starting to get stacks. Uh, 
Obviously, in this circumstance, uh, having a weapon that had slash on it and isn't pure elemental would have paid some dividends, but we'll just show in how, what you're going to be up against. Because if you're using this, you are going to run into an enemy with armor. All right, easy enough. All right, the Guardian was messing with us a little bit, but that's part of modern-day Warframe. Once the Guardians are gone, you'll see our damage goes way up. Obviously, Toxin not doing us a favor, and especially with Guardian not having the aura, but that's part of modern Warframe. Um, it's just something you're going to have to deal with. But, alright. But that's just an example of something you, you'd have to deal with. Alright, so the other thing that this actually works pretty well against um, is Infested. And for this, we're going to go with a Monster Electric. You don't have to if you don't want to. Faction damage, so we're going to have gas, electric, and toxin. So, oh, so faction mods are a must. We'll do some trash mobs, and then we'll do a mixed batch on this. So we're getting the gas and the toxin. Gonna start getting stacks. Our damage will pick up. So getting the ticks in the thousands, some five digits. The occasional crit. Got a nice little 92 there. If only I got that more often. Got a 90. Toxin dot is 4,209k, 3,300, 4k, 5k, obviously viral is helping us out a ton, but it's part of a modern setup. Let's try out the Guardians, same setup, or not the Guardians, the uh, Eximus. Uh, let's try this guy. Not the healer. We'll do some brood mothers. Hmm. I don't want to do entirely trash mobs. All right, good enough. Little bit of Damos, little bit of um, all the Roken survival stuff. So seeing 4K, seeing uh, 2000s, obviously first kill, so that's the slowest. Factions paying us a huge dividend here. Now we're getting some in the 10,000s. Yeah, starting to see 15s, there's a 14. 45k. Three hundreds on the flyers. Oh, you're actually moving. What's up, dude? I 
I forgot those respawn. Fair enough. Alright, that was like a two shot. So still thousands. Oh god, what's spawning these? I forget. All right, easy enough. Oh, is it the Eximus? Hold on, let me kill this one. All right, the flyer's gone. It can't hurt us anymore. All right, frozen Eximus. Same thing, low a couple thousand, occasional 10, headshots will be higher. All right, easy peasy. Obviously a favorable matchup uh, element wise, so the damage was in the 20,000s. Same thing. They're weak to gas. Ten thousands. Let's see how the dot does. Six K, nine K, four K. Pretty basic. But for a gun that's so old, honestly, I'm not mad at it. I mean it's obviously not gonna perform like modern Kuva and Tenet weapons, right? But listen, it's as old as it is. God bless it. Your mom's mom used this when she was playing Warframe, walking uphill both ways, pine cones on her feet. Um, yeah, walking up to the library to connect to Warframe. This is the gun she was using, and she enjoyed it. She was thankful. Listen, it's just an old gun. Um, it's not the monster that it used to be. Because if memory serves, this gun is actually responsible for modern toxin damage, because I'm pretty sure it used to deal true damage and was a meta weapon back in the day. I remember there was a point where, like, you were supposed to use this, and I just never got around to it, um, like, really abusing it. But it still does damage. The, the multipliers for modern-day mods definitely help it out. Um, honestly, Crazy Dave, I couldn't see using this in a Grenier mission. Um, if you wanted, you could probably get away with using this on infested missions. I don't see it having any problem whatsoever doing an infested mission. Gas electric puts in work, and honestly, it's probably pretty beneficial not to have IPS on the weapon. Um... And you could probably go against Corpus pretty well if you had something that dealt with uh, the armor. Obviously, you saw that was an issue. Just keep in mind that was with a Guardian Eximus Aura. Um, so I guess, like... Actually, what could you get away with? Um, you would need Magnetic just to be able to deal... I guess it would be gas, uh, Magnetic Toxin. I couldn't see anything else working. Um, cause God forbid you came across something with proto shields, like you would honestly be kind of dead in the water. If you had all your buffs stacked up, you would actually then end up needing the magnetic to boost the toxin dots through the proto shield. So you would end up needing it anyway. So food for thought. I hope you enjoyed it. It's nice to see these weapons actually be somewhat viable like star chart certainly viable um but steel path it gets a little questionable um but it can obviously do it right so i i threw i had two forma in this and now i have seven <laughs> and an exilus slot and an arcane so i hope it helps um, anyway, y'all take it easy. This was an interesting gun to build.
But yeah, Crazy Dave, I hope this answered your question or at least got you a, a taste. I will say this, though. It's better than the Stug. <laughs> and people run Star Chart with that shit. Um, I did not show... Actually, you know what? Let me do that. Let, final thing, final thing. Well, what about Rhino? Yes, what about Rhino? Um, let's see, what do I got here? Oh, this is full scaling. Let me see if I can do this. All right, we're set up for these nerds. Okay, hold on. All right, Rhino buff is 194. It's a stacking buff, so I don't really have anything right now. 40k... 13k twelve K Oh look the gun's a monster thirteen K dots hundred and fifty seven headshot forty K dot two hundred and twenty K headshot Oh, goddamn. I saw it mid-flight. You asshole. I, yeah, it's my fault. I was standing there without skin on, because I keep forgetting I spawn these up. Okay, there you go. Yeah, the flyers. These guys respawn constantly, if you don't freaking kill him and i was standing there without rhino skin on my bad anyway there you go a couple hundred k damage obviously if you're a rhino man you could you probably know just run with a dot and kill anything um but there's the rhino buff uh obviously anything else that can buff it like say you're running roar on Saren. let's be honest roar with Saren. You can take a Mark One Brat into level cap, okay? Like, I'm not... It's an exception, right? So, there's that. Uh, Saren's even better, especially with Roar on her. But anyway, Crazy Dave, I hope you liked it. Maybe it'll give you something that you're willing to run around casually with. It is still... I wouldn't say it's viable in any circumstance, but it's usable. If you want to throw some form in it, you got some form at a spare... By all means, I don't see anything wrong with it. Uh, it's definitely usable. Uh, maybe Riven-wise, if you were looking for something. Um, the immediate thing would be to get a Riven or roll a Riven uh, with multi-shot. Maybe a little bit of fire rate. Um, status chance would be solid. So it can benefit. It can be a benefit over one of the of a, a toxin mod because you're going to be running toxin on all the setups, right? So it'd be magnetic toxin, it'd be corrosive heat, it'd be uh, gas electric. So it's going to be running toxin. Um, fire rate would be beneficial. As you notice, I don't have any fire rate. Um, so that would allow us to quote unquote reclaim a stat that we're having to kick off. Uh, and probably base damage. where Because the weapon's just so weak, it just needs base damage to be viable. Obviously that's not going to cause it to scale infinitely, but... More base damage isn't going to hurt it. Um, so multi-shot, fire rate, and toxin would be like an AOK -okay Riven to start with. And you would just slot it over the Pistol Pestilence slot. Um, and hopefully it's a, a dash polarity. So you can drop it down into the lower one when you need to run um, Magnetic Toxin. So that would be ideal, ideal. But anyway, I hope you guys liked it. Nice little meme build. That was pretty funny. Super old weapon. I was surprised it did as well, to be honest. But anyway, take it easy, guys. This was a fun weapon to build. Thank you.